Yo, it's just another day in the park, you know, we just got the people outside Just kicking it on the bench Having their little picnics and whatnot You see the guys over the corner With their buds and the middle lights and whatnot And on the other side, you got them playing basketball and then the I mean You got the ladies over there slaving over a good meal Yeah Come out, kick and enjoy a little moment of a memory pose Around my people, giving up their problems like a free throw Hi everybody, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Reading. Okay, so I did a Beyonce video before, I think it was in July, I believe. And I didn't really like it because like, I asked everybody, do you want to see a Beyonce video? And I'm like, yeah, we want to see it. And I had already did Rihanna. So I was like, and yeah, so I think um, I saw the video and I was like, nah, not my best work. And plus it's Beyonce's birthday month and we all know black people. We be celebrating the damn birthday the whole fucking month, okay? We don't even have one day, not even a weekend. We had the whole month. And so you already know Beyonce got the whole year on lock. It's Virgo season, every season. So, um, I am, honestly, not the biggest Beyonce fan, but I love her music. Her music, uh, my child loves it. Um, I love your old, so, you know, I support black women, especially it's Beyonce. I <laughs> mean, um... She is known in our community for just being the goddess. So I wanted to do a tribute reading to her. And I wanted to look into her love life, her spiritual life, um, regular tarot, of course, and her financial building of her business. So a well-rounded reading because I felt like the queen deserved it, you know. She deserved a more well-rounded reading than a rushed reading. Like, okay, here's this card, this and that. Okay, this. Nah, you know. So, as our channel is getting better, you know, I would love to re-look re into the life of what we call Beyonce. Alright, so I got my decks on the side. You can't really see them. That's that. Oh. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to do this so you can see. Because then you can get like a wide range of what's going on. Cause, like, I'm not gonna shuffle on the table though, cause like that'll seriously fuck everything up. So like, yeah, I'm gonna shuffle. Let's see. Let's look at Beyonce Knows Carter. Cause we got the Carter in there. What's up with Beyonce Knows Carter? Destiny. Ooh, victory and success. Those are beautiful cards. What's up with Beyonce Knows? Transformation, a death, triumph, chariot. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get five. Five is the number of change, and I'm the five of hearts. And card man say, no cardology. All right, and truth. Okay, so she has a lot of majors here. I don't even see any um minors. To be honest with you at the bottom of the deck is stand your ground now that will reverse so this could be a person who's kicking ass and taking names but in reverse they kind of don't know how to strike it's not that they don't know how to fight it's just that they don't know who to fuck the fuck up you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> maybe dealing with some therapy or counseling or you know trying to get your life together all right now the first card i got was victory and success and with the victory and success card, it means that this person is basically taking their own trumpet and they're sounding it off. This is a person who they fought really, really hard and long to get where the fuck they at. And honestly, they just not going to let you take them from their spot. They just not. They just so used to being that bitch. But anyway, so not saying that she's a bitch, you know. But, um... Yeah, the victory and success cards I mean this person is just like they're standing in their power. They have a lot of success that, you know, it's in like how can I put this? They have a whole bunch of success from the past. They built up momentum in their career or wherever they were. And at this particular point, they ain't they ain't they are going to keep fighting for what they feel is theirs. This is a card right after the seven of wands, six of wands. It's the seven of wands right here. 
So basically, this person, they're fighting. They're, they're fighting for what is theirs, and they're standing their ground. And they know that they're going to make it, and they're going to be successful, and they don't give a damn about what you say or what you have to say. Okay? So for her, I feel like she is kicking ass and taking names. That's how she is. Beyonce ass always kick ass and take names. Like, she's a very successful person. She knows what it takes to get there. She knows what it takes to build a corporation. She knows what it takes to be, you know, a module. So she's going to own that a part of her life. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is the Destiny card. That means that certain things in her life that are going to occur are made to happen. This is fate. It doesn't matter where you were at this point before now and where you will go after here, but this moment right here is destiny. You are going to see synchronicities in your life that are going to keep coming up. Numbers, it could be people, it could be like deja vu. There are things that are going to happen to you that you are just supposed to deal with and supposed to go through and supposed to just embody and just like embrace. Some of these situations will be easy to, to just accept. And some of them, well, not really. And the reason why I say that is because destiny, like the Wheel of Fortune, is supposed to be a very happy, exciting time. It's supposed to be a time of love. Like the Wheel of Fortune is like you excited about what's going to come. You don't really know what's going to come. It reminds me like the love, it's Jupiter, double Jupiter, but it reminds me of like the, the not the lovers, like, like love, like romantic love, but it reminds me of like the love of life. Like a lot of people don't really live, but the Wheel of Fortune is shifting things. It's God. God is shifting. God is turning that wheel. See that girl? She has different faces of who she is. She is changing. She started here and going around. She is no longer the same girl right here that she will be right here. This is a fate. This is a pattern. She is going to stand her ground. Like it says here. She's going to incorporate change, liberate change, and go into it. Um, the transformation card, oh, baby. Transformation is death. It doesn't have to be a literal death. It just means that there is a death. Death can be about the way we think, the way we process ideas, the way we internalize things. Death can be a myriad of things. It could be an actual death, unfortunately. Um, it can be about a transition or a metamorphosis, like a caterpillar to a butterfly the cocooning stage in which a person is no longer what they used to be and now they are something now. So transformation. You see this person has wings. They're ascending. They're ascending. There will be ascending to something better. But for right this particular moment, they are ascending towards their purpose. That's why destiny is behind it because they have to go through karmic situations in order for them to truly like grow up and like ascend. So... I'm going to be honest with you, Beyonce S is probably going through victory and success like she had in the past, and she still will have it. She will go through a pivotal point in her destiny. She's going to change, or she's going to go through something that is going to completely, like, motivate or elevate her destiny. It's going to, God is going to come down and intervene in her life in some particular way, and she is going to get the ball rolling in something that she's wanted or is owed to her. Uh, like a karmic, like, allowance or something, or like an uh, inheritance. The 13 is death. Like, she's dying, but not in a bad way. It's like, I'm no longer the person I used to be. I'm growing into the woman that God or the ancestors would like to see me to be. Okay, some triumph. Period. Now, we went all the way from 10 to 13, and then the 7. 7 is karmic. 7 is God's number. So another God um, card right here, because again, God is in control. So my bad, y'all, I had to go and let my kid out. It's literally um, back to school. So back to Beyonce's reading, because I apologize. Um, the triumph card basically says in Chariot that she is basically making moves. The Chariot card is about having people always having something to say, conflict, it's like having a it's like a train. No matter how many people you have on your back or how many people you have to keep, you know, going for, you're still going. You know, that triumph card is like, I have to fight to get here. Another embodiment of Sandra Brown, Seven of Wands. 
like the triumph card is look i use my intellectualism i use my strength i use all the elements of me to get here and i am triumphing on i look at him he has the he has the um he has the flag here he's triumphing he's going he's going hard he's not gonna let no be the answer See, then you got this truth card so this is judgment um, judgment is about the dead shall rise card. It's about people waking up. So you may actually look at the good and the bad and the ugly of your life and decide that something is not right. You know, maybe it's that I'm not as happy as I thought I was or, you know, I maybe that's not what I wanted to do or there's a pattern of mine that I feel that needs to go. Or, you know, I, I really look at myself differently now. This judgment can come in different forms. The whole thing is that with judgment is that you are awakening. You are, you were buried under the ground. And now you're like rising up. And now you're like this person who is like awake. You're no longer sleeping. You're like super flipping awake. I believe that if she's going through a victory and success period, I believe that this car is actually mean to be here in the front because we already know she's going to continuously be successful. But that judgment period was a revelation for her in her life to where now she has to awaken. So I do feel that she will awaken. She will have some pivotal point in her life. She will reach her destiny. She will transform into be, being that person that she's supposed to be. She's going to triumph and use her intellectual side to, to connect with her community. She's very seriously involved with her community. And that transformation is going to help someone else out as well as other people on this earth because a lot of people are inspired by her. And the truth will come out because her truth helps her reach other people reach their truth. So she is like a beacon, like a like a medium. Not in a bad like you know, not a medium like she's oh, you know. But no, seriously like a medium, a middleman. Like she is learning her truth to inspire the world. So that's what I got from that. Put that at the bottom of the deck. And then I you know what's so crazy? I happen to see justice right here. This is about balance. I saw right under this. It could be about legal issues. Cause seven of wands is someone that's fighting. And the, the balance card can be justice. So justice, this person is trying to get all the things in their life that doesn't seem like it's in balance. And they're trying to be able to give it, smooth it all out and make it all whole. So yeah, standing your ground and balance. deck is by all things intuitive messages of the love oracle cards all right i got this deck um about a month ago i really like it it's really cool very informative it helps me with my love reading okay let's look at beyonce for the whole year really what is her love life in this oh those looks like a food didn't they Put away the computer, spiritual lessons. Oh shit. Hold on. Where'd the card go? It like it like literally like flew off. Hold on, I'm gonna get it. I swear I'm gonna get that card. I don't know if I find it. Okay. Acceptance. Acceptance. Okay. Acceptance is everything happens for a reason, a spiritual lesson, and it, you know what I was saying? I was doing a video for Leo and I saw a um a fire truck and a uh, EMS, and I was like, man, you know, Leo, be careful, you might go to jail. But I believe I also said the things work in threes. Three cards came out straight out, and I mean, I can pull more, but it doesn't even matter because I feel like messages come in threes in some way, and three cards is, is like the, the number of confirmation. Mm. 
I mean, even if I were to look at some more for Beyonce, I mean, I do think that three is that number for her. Maybe three is significant. Three, 333. Hmm. Now, children are important to important this relationship. I'm not going to put them down, but those are the ones I got when I did. And here's seven, because I believe in seven. Um, maybe she has some regrets about children or regrets about her past or her childhood. No, you have a lot of regrets, but maybe she's reflecting on the things that maybe she wished turned out differently. A lot of people do. She's focused on her children, um, trying to be more vulnerable and open. Um, when you're out in the public eye, maybe it's really hard to be open with people because you have a lot to lose and people can come and take or try to take with yours, and anybody gonna take with Beyonce. But you know, people will try to do stupid shit. Retreat, taking some time alone. It's nothing wrong with being alone, okay? It's nothing wrong with having a long time and taking off and saying, you know what? I don't, you know, I'm a singer, but I don't feel like singing right now. I feel like sitting, taking a long ass vacation, and just being me. I don't want to do this. I don't want to. I don't want to always have to do and and and. and having that type of success you get to make your own schedule what's the point of being that high up if you can't go and just live you didn't work that fucking hard you didn't do all that shit just to fucking be new nothing you enjoy your success you work hard for decades to build your legacy you should be able to say fuck y'all I'm off the grid don't follow me Leave me the fuck alone. I'm chilling. Really. If that's what Beyonce wants to do, and she wants to have some time alone to sit there and become a new woman, so let her do it. Sometimes being in the public eye can be annoying. I don't know what it's like, but I know she does. I know it's YouTube channel, I guess. But I can understand, well, maybe not, but... I can feel for someone in that situation who, maybe sometimes fame gets a little stressful. But this woman here, there's no reason, if that is a, is a case, I feel like you should be able to go out and have fun and really enjoy yourself and, like, not worry about other motherfuckers, really. You know? I feel like you should enjoy yourself and enjoy your money and enjoy everything and be able to leave at the drop of a dime without someone telling you you have to be this way and be that way and do this and do that because like you made all that money and made all that success just for a motherfucker to tell you that you can't go on vacation you can't do that i mean yeah it's tour dates be responsible but what about the time off you know okay so there's a spiritual lesson here. Um, you're supposed to be going through a spiritual journey. Um, so she is going through a spiritual journey. And she is going to... be. Someone is going to teach her something. Someone is going to uh, uplift her or motivate her. Someone, this spiritual lesson, someone is going to come into her life and help her where she needs to be helped. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. This person is going to guide and uplift you. And, and she, Beyonce is going, and, and she's a human being. Fuck all the stardom. She's Beyonce knows. She's, she's going to go on a spiritual lesson that is designed and destined for her. It's destined. She's going to go through it anyway. She needed to. Because God had an inheritance for her. And she going to get that inheritance once she goes through a spiritual journey. Working less and having more fun will strengthen your relationship. She worked out there. She, that lady worked hard for her money. Okay? The thing is, what's the point of working your whole fucking life and you can't even go out and enjoy yourself? You can't even be a regular person because you just owe everybody. You feel like you a slave to your success. Like you can't even go out and get a fucking happy meal for your kids. Because you got click, 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 click. Everybody's in your face like, God damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's annoying. Maybe you spend your time on the computer. Maybe you're looking. Maybe she's looking for spiritual answers on the computer. Or maybe she finds the, or maybe she's in her, or immersing herself in social media trying to connect to people, which is good. But take that time out for self, self-care. 
acceptance. Everything happens for a reason, boo. Everything. God makes no mistake at all. Mm -hmm. Everything you go through in your life is supposed to make you into a new person. You don't got to like that new person, but you're going to be that new person. That's just it. So, the acceptance, accept yourself. Accept it. Love the woman you used to be. Love the woman you're becoming now is acceptance. And knowing that, hey, everything is going to come together in due time in God's name, you know? So she's going to be going through spiritual lessons that are going to be shaping and impacting her as a woman. Putting away the computer, she's going to put that computer away or put away the work that has been hounding her and take a serious fucking vacation. And acceptance, accept the things I cannot change and have the courage to do the difference. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. My grandma's an alcoholic, so. But um, I do feel that everything happens for a reason. Let's look into that. What is a spiritual lesson for Beyonce? Hmm, Prince of Wands. It's reversed. Spiritual lesson for Beyonce. I do have another car here. Oh. Okay. All right. So the Prince of Wands is a Scorpio Sag. I hope it's not Daisy. The Prince of Wands is a person who is either timid and afraid, and they're completely scared, or they're too aggressive. They're too uh, someone that is timid or afraid, or very, very, very aggressive. Um. This person is. This, things are not getting better with the Eight of Swords. It's about a situation that's not improving. But this person gives leniency to their wrongdoing or their blunders. This can be a sad, this could be Jay-Z, y'all. And this could be mentally, things are not getting any better. They're mentally firing out of control or this person is doing stupid shit. And again, you know, the queen. Here you go. In the wand. Beyonce fire, y'all. Here she go. She is a woman that, the queen of wands, she'll make you question everything you fucking did. She'll look at you in your face and unravel your whole argument. And be like, so you were saying? Yeah. The situation is not getting better. The queen of pentacles is a woman that's burnt out. She works too fucking much. Way too much. She is a woman that exhausts herself. She loves to buy finer things. She likes the beautiful things. She's a Virgo. The Four of Swords is about needing rest. If you don't have that rest, you don't want this card to be reversed because then you need to go to the mercy room. You are being warned. Beyonce is being warned. You need to sit your ass the fuck down. That's the second time you said that. So that Prince of Wands can be about a person that is impetuous or hot-headed, they act in haste or they're, you know, over the place. But they could just be, in her sense, timid. She's timid to go and, and take the breaks that she needs to do because maybe, again, she doesn't have the time or has a tight schedule. But this situation is not getting better. The Queen of Wands is about a fire sign. This fire sign is... A very beautiful, attractive woman. She's a she's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but she doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, um, that fine. She's just a very fiery, creative, passionate, sensitive, loving, caring person. If this person is helping you, they ain't got a lot of money. They don't have a lot. They are a woman with a whole bunch of kids. They can't take care of themselves, but they're gonna help you. They're gonna help you find your peace. You need to sit down and chill. Introspection. What's the queens doing here? Yep. 
four of wands is about a damper. Something happened. Seven of cups, somebody was tempted. King of coins, could have been a man with a whole lot of money. A businessman having affairs while you're traveling. Using, leaning on addiction to get yourself throughout the day. And the three of swords, a very hard, shocking revelation. It makes you upset, unhappy, and sad. So it seems like it to me. I hate to say this. If this is, I don't want to say this. Is he tempted to cheat? Four wands about a person who's the relationship is just not as happy, or it's a marriage foundation. The Seven of Cups is about a person who they have a lot of temptation, or they see so many cups in the air. They're offered so much because they always have it at their fingertips. And God is telling them, ain't shit in that cup good for you. But you're just staring at it like, it's glittering, it's shining. Um, no, motherfucker. The King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles, this person makes a lot of money. This person is tempted to have an affair. And why? Or do something, or I don't see them not talking to someone. I mean, it could be someone not talking to somebody because Eight of Wands is a lack of communication. Or throwing arrows and not sure where it's going to lead. Impatience, rashness. Um, the King of Cups and the Three of Swords could be, again, someone that's very possessive, moody, jealous, emotionally on rock. Um, they don't know how to deal with their emotions. They're supposed to be the king of their emotions, but they're not the king. They're just like... They are falling all over the floor, or they are addicted. The Three of Swords is about a, a very pivotal point in your life where things are just unhappy. You're going through a breakup, or you're going through some type of serious sadness. What's that, the Three of Swords? Justice, a oof. Divorce. Will of Fortune, it's karmic. The marriage is over. Mm -hmm. I hope that's wrong. I really do. It says it's karmic, though. Maybe it hasn't happened yet. Maybe they can change that. With the justice, the will of fortune, and the maiden, hmm, so, so major, though. And then with this I told you so God card, it's like, yeah, so... There might be something to do with that marriage. What's the hero saying? What's the, what's the, what is that? Eight of Cups of Loss. Yeah, someone's going to leave. The star. Someone's going to start a new beginning. They're tired. They don't want this anymore. They're going to be upfront and honest about the tower moment in their life. And they're done. So someone had a spiritual lesson and they're just like, fuck all this shit. I'm out. I'm not going to do this. You know what? You better than that too, boo. That's true. You need to go through that. Now I was just telling my friend, and she was like, "Oh, I get, I get nobody likes me, nobody wants me. The finest girls, be be Beyonce, fine, still have a motherfucker not appreciate you. You can put in work, time, and effort. You can cook a motherfucker's breakfast, cook a motherfucker's meal, take the kids to school, do everything, suck the motherfucker dick the right way, and still, still cheat. Mm. Hell no, nah, fuck that shit. That shit pissed me off, and I'm not even." Mm. Be quiet. Put away the computer. The sun and the princess of swords. Go out and go on a vacation. That's what it's saying. The sun is fun. Don't care what motherfuckers think. Fuck the motherfuckers. Bye. Virgo care too much. Virgo cares way too much what motherfuckers think. Bye. Ten of Wands, help reassess your situation. Seven of Swords, start being selfish. Motherfuckers don't like you taking vacation, oh well. This is about a person who, they're going to talk about you anyway. Oh well, give them something to talk about, tell them to kiss your ass. Seven of Swords and Prince of Swords. The King of Cups, oh you worried about motherfuckers, oh you worried about your nigga, your dude. Three of Swords. 
<clears throat> someone needing an apology, someone wanting an apology for their actions. Why does someone need an apology for three swords? Prince of Cups, an offer. Three of Cups, mm. what a party situation or a celebration. Ten of Coins, money. Is someone worried about someone doing something? The Prince of Cups, Three of Cups. That's an offer, a celebration. That's three of Cups. Six of Wands could be about success. That's very interesting. Experience, Chariot, Ace of Wands, that's right. Um, okay, let me look at these cards here. It's a lot of cards. Someone is worried about what someone thinks, and they shouldn't. Maybe someone's spying. Could be, could be, could be Jay Z or the King of Cups. Could be your father. Um, he wants to be loved and admired by everybody and will do anything he can to get real close to you. The Three of Swords is about forgiveness. The pain is all just temporary. They offer you a cup, maybe a party. But it doesn't fulfill you because old baggage and old wounds are still there. You're trying to find a way to move on, six of wands, be successful. And chariot, moving on, using your intellect. Remember you had chariot twice. Your intellect and six of wands too. Shit, double confirmation. But this person has been through the battle, and they're trying to keep triumphing on. But Ace of Wands, they see what what really what it really is. They got it now. They see you, and they feel like it's not a good time. That they feel the Queen of Wands is angry. She is so mad. She it's not a good time to move on from you. It's not a good time for her to walk me out. That's her wish, but it ain't the right time. Maybe she wants to leave and go away, but she can't do it right now. Okay. Acceptance. Let's look at the acceptance part for Beyonce. Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. Okay, so Six of Swords is... That's the person who can't get away. They would love to run from this gambling situation, but they just cannot. Or they feel like they're immobilized. I'm surprised they just throw it in here. What's the exception for Beyonce? Mm, where's the point? That's Virgo. Four Cups. The Emperor. And Seven of Points. The World. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, they want to get away. They don't want to... They would love to put distance, but there's so many delays and interferences that would put them at an inconvenience. This is a Virgo card, Leo, Leo Virgo. Um, this person, um, they're taking the low row, or someone could be taking the low row, or they're just only giving you the shell of relationship and not the four gelata. And then the four cups. So the four cups is basically a person who's bored. They're... they're the Four of Cups is about a, a person who is sitting down and they're looking at every everything and they're like, man, I'm just not happy. God could be giving them another cup and they just don't see it because they're so surrounded in the sadness and the shit that's going on that they just can't, they can't look at what's in front of them. They can, they can only look at what, they, what they've been through and they can only see how unhappy it really made them. Because that Four of Cups, like that person is severely dissatisfied with what they feel. They're unhappy. It didn't live up to their expectations. And now they have to sit there by themselves and, and pick, they, they're, they're, they're isolating themselves. They're not online. They're not, they, if they're online, they're online too much. But they're not talking to people. They're not going out in place. They're not being as sociable. Or maybe they're, they're deeply unhappy. But the Emperor, this person always either conflicts with them or challenges them, or it's always some shit with them. This person's an asshole. Sorry. But the Emperor could be somebody daddy, or it could be Jay-Z. But the Emperor is basically a man, you know, um, he's in conflict with the established order. The people, if this, it could be an organization. 
maybe he's in conflict with some type of organization that would make the corporation an asshole, not him, in that regard. But, um, yeah, the emperor is, it's about a person who they're trying to fight with the established order, or they're fighting with their mate, or they're fighting with the Virgo, and there's always some chauvinism or bullshit going on. The seven of pentacles could be literally years, seven years, or an investment, trading carefully, or they're going back to work on this situation because they can't give a world to it, they can't end it. They have to go back and work on something they thought they were done with. What's the world reverse? Suspension of choice. Eight of cups is Virgo. Someone being burnt out. Yeah, this is the Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries card. Someone is drinking or materialistically drifting. They're not deep. They don't have a home. They're homeless. Or they're indoctrinated. They're an asshole, an authoritative person. Somebody's making a choice. They're not sexually interested in this person. They just are burnt out. They have nothing else to give. Two of Cups, the bottom of the deck, disappointments, mutual distrust. Someone does not trust someone. Someone does not feel like this person has their best interest. Or they do, but they feel like they put everything in to build it, and it's just not coming to fruition, and it does. Or they want to be. Um, let's look at the financial aspect of the reading. Bills. Let's see. What does Beyonce need to work on? I know it's kind of a shift, huh? From love to business. I should have did that first. Maybe. I don't know. She's like, bitch, I don't want to know about businesses. She does, though. Maybe she'll watch it one day. These cards kind of fell out. Moving forward, amen. That could be in more ways than one. Overcoming your fear to take real action to move forward your business. Do not stop or wait or justify. Step outside your comfort zone. Maybe someone does not want to move forward. They are afraid as fuck. Strategize. Results are not coming quickly enough. You need a solid step-by-step -step strategy in place. And take the guesswork out of growing your business. Strategizing plans in more ways than one. Share. Get the message out. Reach out to more people. Develop a more deeper connection with the audience through video. Let them know the real you. Maybe you need to just share your story and connect with people. Maybe that's how you gain an audience and authenticity. Because you're telling people your story and you're not giving a fuck what people think. You're owning your truth and you're living it. Because you can't be... You can't die if you're afraid of how people think you're going to look when you're dead. You're, it's not that your fucking death is not for everybody. It's for you. How You, you ain't going to take the best, best opportunity of your death to really ascend? No, baby. No. No, you got to grow up. Can't care what people think. Your death is for you. You ain't going to never grow. You ain't going to never die and go and ascend unless you truly release and move on from the shit that is holding you back in your business love life in general build that email list stay in touch with people entertain you see they're reversed but entertain your brand should educate and entertain your clients making them laugh feel great when they interact with you and your brand interact with people but don't overdo it and then analyzing is reversed but in reverse it says researching your market and analyzing your competition. Decide if you're going to make better offers or provide more value than everyone else. If you are giving to a relationship business-wise or personal, I and, and personally, personal, know who your competition is, but don't compete with someone, especially when you're the top. In business, always make yourself stand out and make yourself look stronger or, or find a way to show people that what you got to sell is way more, way more important than them saving their money for something else. Entertaining, showing them that this product has a lot of fun uses. And then here, 
they build with building and they will come showing people giving people information to share cards being more visual um, strategizing plans being strategic and moving forward with those plans okay all right those are my cards and that's from Liz Tarrant she does the uh, business entrepreneur card and she is a business woman okay that's what I got for Beyonce. I think it's a way better reading than last time. Uh, if you want to check out the old reading, I'll have the link in below. But this is my reading to Beyonce. If you're going through anything with your marriage, girl, I know what it's like. Um, I've been married for eight years. And I know what it's like to lose yourself in your marriage. And to always take care of someone else that may or may not even really appreciate you. You spend your time loving and caring for someone. You spend your time, like, really trying to be something for someone. And, like, they don't ever, like, see you for what you're worth. They just see you for, like, what they can get you for. It's not fair. I know what it's like to be married. And you put this person first and you make sure that they have what they need and you try to be a team player and they don't really understand and they don't really like grasp how important you really were to them until it's too late. Um, like I said, I've been married. I'm 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 currently married, and I would love to leave too, you know. But um, I think that everything is a life lesson, and I think that whatever we end up is where we're supposed to be. Um, I'd like to leave for me to get a vacation and to just like go off and just off the grid myself too but not right now I have work to do but I would like to so if that's your reading I totally you know feel for you I know what it's like and in, in the civilian sense in a civilian sense but um don't care what nobody think girl you put your whole life in love and remarriage and really try to give everybody your man everything change your hair change your perspective change everything and you know what? This motherfucker, you ain't never good enough for them. You know why? Because that ain't your motherfucking dude. That God God put that person in your life for a reason, but that motherfucker ain't your soulmate. That motherfucker ain't it. Your mom and daddy were together, and she found out that she was better off being a bad woman with someone else. You, if that is the case, you are going to be your mama in more ways than one because she is out there living her truth right now. She's at least trying. You don't stay with no relationship because of status. You stay because you love a person. You don't stay because everybody expects you to stay. And you're not really living your life for you. You're living your life for the public. You're a slave. You're not living. The thing is different. I can leave my marriage tomorrow. And I don't ever have to go back because nobody knows me. But you, if you are Beyonce, you just can't leave Jay-Z without people talking shit. But you know what? Fuck the motherfuckers. Fuck you. Bye. I left the end, if that's what you want to do, you know, don't care what people think, because at the end of the day, you, when, they, when you die, they don't give a fuck, the motherfuckers don't care, they just want to be entertained, your personal life, fuck that shit, girl, it ain't worth it, okay, you have a destiny to fill, God is waiting on you, fuck a relationship, relationships fall all the time, people fall in love every day, Love yourself first. You can't do nothing to anyone until you can love yourself. And I know that shit's true because I've been through it. I could tell you a lot of stories. But you gotta love yourself, boo. Okay? Alright, guys. Thank you for joining me for my Beyonce reading for Beyonce Knows. Happy birthday, Beyonce. Even if you don't read, watch this video, I sincerely hope that you do have a beautiful, blessed birthday. And this video is long because I feel like Beyonce needed it. And I hope you guys really liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.